Welcome. I invite you now to visit my first chakra. I receive you into my planetary body, just as you are allowing me to merge with your personal body. As you can see in the picture, my first chakra is now Sinai. The first chakra is the root of both personal and planetary masculine energy. It has an outflow orientation, which is symbolized by its location in a mountain peak. Mount Sinai is the root of my Kundalini, Alpha and Omega of my experience of form. Many great cycles of change have begun on this mountain. It is my base camp, the seat of my power. It is where I gather my vitality and initiative. There is a major vortex slash portal slash wormhole in this area of my body, which has greatly influenced my evolution as a planet, as well as your evolution as a person. It is this interdimensional portal which is the true coveted prize over which the many countries now battle. I, Gaia, am allowing my Kundalini to rise to meet my divine complement in my crown. As my Kundalini rises to my crown chakra, my divine complement shall again join me in mystical marriage. This time, instead of becoming a planet and birthing humanity, I shall become a star and birth a planet. At that point, the cycle will be complete, and the 3D game will end. The portal into the higher worlds at Mount Sinai shall open completely, and the blending of dimensions will commence. First Personal Chakra, Base of Spine First you will blend your personal first chakra, at the base of your spine, with my planetary first chakra at Mount Sinai. I, Gaia, have a physical body in the form of a planet that provides a home base for your physical body. Just as your physical body communicates with your consciousness by its state of health, disease, comfort, and discomfort, I communicate with you by the health of my planet. Your Western society has traveled so far into third-dimensional individuality that many of you have lost sight of the fact that you are members of a greater whole. This forgetfulness closed the first chakra, separated you from your planetary consciousness and limited you to a small fragment of yourself, which is the ego self of your current earth vessel. If your first chakra is closed to me, it is difficult for prana to infuse your physical body. Just as a lamp flickers when it's not sufficiently plugged into the socket, prana cannot efficiently circulate through a body that is not plugged in. If you are ungrounded, you also feel disconnected from me, your Mother Earth, as you wander, alone and desperate, through a hostile land in search of a means of survival. Your first chakra is ruled by your adrenal glands, which activate your flight or fight consciousness. Adrenaline is necessary to better survive the harsh environment of third-dimensional reality. On the other hand, too much adrenaline, however, can leave you feeling anxious, nervous, and angry. Conversely, too little adrenaline can make you feel as frightened as a small mouse on an open meadow. However, the hawks are not flying the sky above you. They are in the office, in the line at the store in the car next to you, and in the many crowded places where you must live and work. Fortunately, when your first chakra is opened and connected to me, your earth, you feel a sense of protection through your unity with all life. You can then remember that your spirit is alive and connected to the planet. With this awareness, the boundaries between personal and planetary reality blur, and you can more easily receive the flow of the universal energy into your personal body. Merging Chakras I ask you now to connect your awareness to your first chakra at the base of your spine. Send your roots down deep into my earth body. Visualize yourself sitting at the base of a tree. Connect the base of your spine to the base of the tree, and lay your back flat against the trunk. Look up to see the light of the sun entering the leaves. Track the light with your awareness, as it travels through the leaves, twigs, branches, limbs, and into the trunk. As the light moves down the trunk, it will meet the crown of your head. At this junction, allow some of that light to enter your crown and travel down your spine as it simultaneously travels down the tree trunk. Eventually, the light will reach the base of the tree, and the base of your spine, as well. Feel your roots travel down from your spine to merge with the roots of your tree of life, which are planted deep in the earth. With your first chakra fully grounded, 
Allow your consciousness to continue to travel down into my earth and wrap your essence around my essence in the center of my planet. Extend your awareness now to imagine that you are slowly returning to the surface at Mount Sinai. With your essence merged with mine, you can feel the ancient and persistent planetary unrest. The first chakra rules the physical element and the sense of smell. Personally experience the physicality of my body, Earth. Feel the calm stability of the mineral kingdom within you, the detached, yet compassionate, expression of the second dimensional plant kingdom and their partners, the insects. Feel the wavering of my grassy fields and the constancy of my giant forests. Experience the flow of my many bodies of water, from small streams to vast oceans. Feel my valleys as they dip into your body and the heaviness of my mountain ranges. Feel the many life forms that have grown upon, crawled over, or stepped upon the land, flown in the air, or swim in the waters. Merge with all this physical life in the first through third dimensions. Smell this mountain world, the bushes, the desert, the wind, and the campfires of visiting humans. Allow your primitive sense of smell to take you into an ancient memory of this area. You are now climbing Mount Sinai to gain illumination. The journey seems long and difficult. You feel the hard rocks under your feet and the hot sun beating on your head. As you continue your climb, you feel the ancient and persistent, third-dimensional, planetary unrest intermingled with your own ancient and persistent human unrest. Exhausted from your climb, you take a few moments to relax in a darkened cave. You lie against the cave's cool stones and close your eyes. Instantly, you are traveling through the base of the mountain and, once again, deep into my core. Once there, you see a huge, interdimensional portal. You feel your root chakra resonating to this portal to awaken your long-latent, personal, interdimensional portal. As soon as you recognize your own portal, it begins blending with mine. Your personal portal swiftly becomes merged with my planetary portal. You awaken from your meditation, feeling grounded and illumined. As you return to your climb, you feel the calm stability of the mineral world within you, the detached, compassionate expression of the plants that grow on the slopes, and the insects that buzz around your ankles. You feel connected to each plant, each insect, each rock and all the creatures that have taken refuge on the rocky slopes and or flown in the sky above them. You and I, person and planet, are one. You are an ancient mountain that has survived, again and again. You are solid and patient, and have seen, and lived through, much. Many people have sought refuge and enlightenment within the cave homes of your body. You, the mountain, were always connected to the flow of spirit through your body. You, the mountain, are the portal, the portal of the first and the last. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You started this cycle, and you, the mountain, will close it. By the time you reach the peak of the mountain, nothing frightens you, as you have seen it all. You are infinitely patient, as you have outlived it all. You feel the grounding of spirit at the base of your mountain, while you also experience the world from the peak of your mountain. You stand upon the highest peak of the mountain that you are, and shout to the world below.